Insulin human is a recombinant form of human insulin used to control hyperglycemia in diabetes mellitus. In this video, let's find found. What is NPH insulin? What is NPH insulin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking NPH insulin? How does NPH insulin work? How to use NPH insulin? What is NPH insulin? Neutral protamine hogadorn insulin, also known as isophane insulin, is an intermediate acting insulin given to help control blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. It is used by injection under the skin once to twice a day. Onset of effects is typically in 90 minutes, last for 24 hours. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. In 2020, NPH insulin was the 221st most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 2 million prescriptions. In 2020, the combination of human insulin with NPH insulin was the 246th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 1 million prescriptions. What is NPH insulin used for? Insulin human is a recombinant form of human insulin used to control hyperglycemia in diabetes mellitus. Contraindication You should not use NPH insulin if you are allergic to it, or if you are having an episode of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Do not give NPH insulin to a child without a doctor's advice. Side effects the most common adverse reactions reported with this insulin include hypoglycemia, allergic reactions, injection site reactions, lipodystrophy, weight gain, and edema. Contraindication. You should not use NPH insulin if you are allergic to it, or if you are having an episode of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. Do not give NPH insulin to a child without a doctor's advice. Mechanism of action. The primary activity of insulin is the regulation of glucose metabolism. Insulin promotes glucose and amino acid uptake into muscle and adipose tissues, and other tissues except brain and liver. It also has an anabolic role in stimulating glycogen, fatty acid, and protein synthesis. Insulin inhibits gluconeogenesis in the liver. Insulin binds to the insulin receptor, IR a heterotetrameric protein consisting of two extracellular alpha units and two transmembrane beta units. The binding of insulin to the alpha subunit of IR stimulates the tyrosinase activity intrinsic to the beta subunit of the receptor. The bound receptor is able to autophosphorylate and phosphorylate numerous intracellular substrates such as insulin receptor substrates, IRS, proteins, CBL, APS, SHC, and GAB1. These activated proteins, in turn, lead to the activation of downstream signaling molecules, including PI3 kinase and ACT. ACT regulates the activity of glucose transporter 4, GLUT4, and protein kinase C, PKC, which play a critical role in metabolism and catabolism. Half-life Systemic insulin disposition, apparent terminal half-life, Following oral inhalation of 4 to 48 units of human insulin was 120 to 206 minutes. Dose. Type 1 diabetes mellitus. Suggested guidelines for beginning dose. Ketones moderate or less, 0.5 U slash kg slash day SC ketones large, 0.7 U slash kg slash day SC typically, 50 to 75% of total daily is given as intermediate or long acting insulin. May use this combination product if the dosage ratio of NPH, isophane, to regular, is 2 to 1. Type 2 Diabetes Mellitus Suggested guidelines for beginning dose, adjust according to blood glucose levels. Initial dose 0.5 to 1 units slash kg slash day in divided doses. Typically, 50 to 75% of total daily dose is given as intermediate or long-acting insulin. May use this combination product if the dosage ratio of NPH, isophane, to regular, is 2 to 1. Morning. Give 2 slash 3 RDS of daily insulin SC ratio of regular insulin to NPH, isophane, insulin 1 to 2. Evening. Give 1 third of daily insulin SC. Safety advice. US FDA pregnancy category B. 
animal reproduction studies have failed to demonstrate a risk to the fetus and there are no adequate and well-controlled studies in pregnant women. That's all the information about NPH insulin we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.